Hi, John Dreyer for GrooveTubes. Today I'm going to show you how simple it is to change the tubes in your amplifier. Now, if you can change a light bulb, you can easily change the tubes in your amp. So let's get started. The first thing to do is a quick visual troubleshoot. If a tube is missing, identify it correctly by consulting the owner's manual or the tube chart on the inside of the amp. It's also pretty easy to spot a tube that's broken, appears cloudy inside, or isn't letting up when the amp is on. All these conditions require tube replacement. Also, sonic performance problems with your amp such as noise, static, hum, whistling, feedback, lack of clarity, and general level changes can all signal tube problems. There are two basic types of tubes. The first type is the preamp tube, which looks like this. These are the smallest tubes in your amp. They have nine pins and an opening for proper alignment. Also, preamp tubes are often enclosed by a metal shield that you'll need to remove in order to see if the tube is damaged. These shields are spring-loaded and are easily released by pressing them in, turning them slightly counterclockwise, and slipping them off. The second type is power amp tubes, which look like this. These are the larger tubes in your amp, and they provide most of the horsepower that drives the speakers. They typically have eight pins and a center spindle guide, or key, that ensures proper alignment. Power amp tubes should be replaced with tubes of the same type and rating. So with the amp off, unplug it from the wall and let it cool for at least 10 minutes. Tubes themselves are easy to remove. Power tubes are often held in place with retaining clips that are easily released. Just press these clips in towards the chassis, use a slight circular rocking motion, and gently pull the tube straight out of its socket. Smaller 9-pin power tubes, such as EL84s, are sometimes held in place by a spring-loaded retainer. Simply pull this retainer outward, away from the chassis, and gently remove the tube from its socket. It's important to make sure that the new tube you're about to install has the correct power rating, which matches the rating of the tube being replaced. Groove Tubes makes this easy by clearly labeling the base of its tubes with their numeric ratings from 1 to 10. To install a new tube, just line up the pins in the tab-shaped spindle key, if there is one, with the socket and insert the tube by gently pushing straight in. If, on the other hand, you want to change your amp's performance by installing tubes with different power ratings, that's a little more complex. This can be done, but your amp should then be rebiased by a qualified service technician. Check out GrooveTubes.com for more information. Thanks.